Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part 5 of the build of the LEGO Technic 24-hour race car. So this is how far we made it in four parts. So you can see the, the shape of the car is really coming together. We've got a steering wheel, we've got some, some front-end steering, we've got our uh, kind of mid to rear mounted engine. We have our suspension in the back, so a lot of cool stuff. We have a, a gearbox with a selector switch to choose some, from some functions. So, a lot of cool stuff. If you missed any of that, check it out. There's links down below. So, we're just going to continue on with the rest of the, the build. Oops. Dropped an axle. Went all the way through the car to the bottom side. So we have a couple axles here. And there's the other one. And then it's going to be an axle with a tow ball piece on the end. So these two pieces. Not quite clear where these go. Just showing like that. So it looks like it's showing like this. And then it has these two knuckle gears that will attach back here. Hold up, that's not right. One, two. Okay. So I need to move it up one hole to right there. Those both go there. These axles a little bit to the side. Make some room there. All right, have this T-shape Technic lift arm. A couple friction pins. Axle with a stop and a bushing. Another knuckle gear. joiner another axle on with another axle joiner and one more axle all right so all of those all go like We have another knuckle joint. We'll go right there with a single bushing. We'll go right here. Oops. Let's see when I turn that. Those pieces are going up and down. All right, try not to play with it until it's completely built because it will make for stuff falling off. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but when I was turning that, it kind of slipped off. It's because I probably shouldn't have been turning it just yet. This goes in here, and we have one of these guys it goes right there. Okay. This is interesting. The instructions show us to turn the selector here, turn this knob, 
until this piece is down kind of where you see it right there and then we attach this five long lift arm there so it's basically a little linkage piece little piece right there it's linked to these knuckle gears that allow that to rotate all right so we'll put it in that position there that's kind of how they show it in the instructions Up, we have this bent lift arm, a couple friction pins, that piece there. This will go right here. I'm starting to create the body work now. Seven long axle with a bushing in the middle. Two of these black pieces. Two of the gray pieces. Axle joiner with two of the three long axles. That piece will go there. You can see that hole lines perfectly up. Well, I don't know if you can really see it. This hole lines perfectly up with this piece here that turns our steering. Okay. Next we're gonna build a driver's seat. So we start with this bent lift arm, friction pin. Take this bent lift arm, that goes there. This goes there, another bushing here. One more bent lift arm, and then this one will go right there. So you can see that creates a nice little bucket seat. slides through there. So this piece simply connects like that. So that piece is pretty much holding the seat in right there. There's nothing else really holding it in. Another friction pin, three long friction pin, 
and with an axle. Okay, that all looks good. Nine long lift arm. Four long axle slides through that hole I was talking about. Then we put a bushing on there. And we turn the page. One step is just that. So, nice, simple, easy con constructions to follow along with. All right, so this panel. This one will go right there. Have another one which goes like this. And this one will go just like that. I'm guessing those are gonna be the doors. Alright, this is five long lift arm with two three long friction pins Sticker. So this is sticker number four. It simply just says 24 hour race car. So we'll go across this left arm. Carefully line everything up. There we go. So that goes there. You can see these fold up and down. Not connected to anything just yet. But I'm sure they will be here in a minute. So we're going to take this piece, a couple friction pins, and then we got this pin with the tow ball. here and this one will go right here so the back side here like these pins connect just like that right, so now they show this selector switch being turned and then we turn this like that now we have these linkage arms and we're going to connect to this one toe ball here and that toe ball there repeat that for the other side now we're going to make a 
panel piece for each side. Starting with this one. Turn it around, get sticker number 10. 10 is right here. These are actually pretty difficult to put on, but I've found that if you start on the shorter end, try to line it up as you go, it tends to work a little bit easier. You can see I got a little air bubble in it here. But you should be able to push that out okay. So that's the first sticker piece that'll go there. This is part of the other one. Sticker number eight. good. That will go there. Now we have this flex axle piece that has the two bars on the end and what we're going to do is put one of those bars in this piece. The bars fit in pinholes. So we're going to put one of these right here slide this bar through these pinholes here attach it there and attach this bar in there so it, all it really does is create this simulated curved body element doesn't really do too much more and then we can turn this and make our doors go down so you see how those doors open it. All right. Next up, axle joiner. Axle joiner. Oops, we're supposed to have a bushing in between that. Two of these black flex axles. Once again, these go in the pinholes or axle holes pretty easily. Just like that. Just so it, you can see it's kind of creating the front windshield area. There's actually not going to be any type of glass panels on these. It's just a opened area. So it's truly just a simulated glass panel. Okay, we have two more of these. There. Okay, move this to the side. molded numbers in them so you can sometimes easily find the right one you're looking for sometimes it's not so easy so 
This is kind of interesting. We're making a pretty big part here. Not quite sure what it is yet. A lot of green in this set. Oops. Kind of messing this up. Let me pull this off. This is not supposed to be on there. This piece is supposed to be here. that for this to go somewhere on here right there that goes there okay so this is our um, our front wheel fender piece and then I guess the the headlight piece will go right there in the middle which it looks like that's what we're going to build now is the headlight part so we start with a friction pin this pin axle bushing axle connector Another bushing. A trans clear stud right there. And we push a little flick fire missile piece right there. Trans clear dish. Right there, and then another trans clear dish. Right there. So those are our headlight pieces. And this slides in this axle hole in here, just like that. Okay. Next is a the fender panel. That piece goes there. Another one of these green pieces here. We have a sticker, sticker number 13. So that spans all the way across the front of that panel. Turn it this way. There's some pins sticking out. These attach to. And then there's a axle hole. We line up a six long axle and simply slide it through. 
just like that. So that creates our big fender piece. So we'll turn this around. Another pieces on this side. And I put that on the wrong way. Turn it around. There we go. Okay. So next is the other um, the other side. So it's basically going to be the same little wheel hub that we built. Not hub, but fender piece. the opposite version of it so now that I know kind of what we're doing this should go a little bit faster learn from my first mistakes because I did put some of these pieces on slightly wrong on that first one I think I've got it figured out now two of these sevens Go five. All right, so we turn this around. One more piece right here. This is actually the last one of these. This over, line it up there. Got pieces coming off, but push those back on. All right, now for the headlight part. Once again, just like the other side. Our headlight, we have our flick fire missile piece, and two of the trans clear dishes. goes there and then our fender piece Okay, so we get stickers again. This is going to get sticker 19. This one goes like this. And then we have our last number six sticker. That one goes there. So just like the other side, there's some friction pins that we're gonna pop these on like that. Take our axle joiner piece and slide a axle all the way through here. And 
All right. So we're going to stop this portion of the build here. As you can tell, we've got quite a bit built on it. We've got a lot of the body work going and uh, we're almost done. So we should have just one more part left to finish this build. So appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to check out my other videos. There's a link down below to all the Technic videos that I have on this channel. So we're always adding videos every day. So if you like these kind of videos, then subscribe. Come back, check out a ton of Lego builds, and we'll see you in the next one.